Hey Triple M members, it's me, Monkey Jagan here, and uh, the topic of today's video is Fallout 4, and with that, let's go to begin. Okay guys, so the first thing I want to talk about is Bethesda has released the next video in their special video series where they talk about the seven traits um, in Fallout 4. And uh, this one is talking about charisma. And uh, the video goes off pretty well. It's a pretty, it, it stays with the same flow as the previous ones. It's pretty interesting. It gives you some sneak peeks about what the perks may be and all that kind of stuff. There's nothing really too much to say about this one because of their previous video where they were talking about uh, how you actually make your characters and stuff. Um, I did a breakdown in that video link here and uh, we actually get to see what pretty much all the perks are in those slots so it's nothing really too surprising it doesn't really like blow my mind like oh that's what that does like no we kind of figured out what it did like a few days ago when you released that video and you literally showed us like everything that is in the charisma perk tree but uh it was pretty cool anyways to see it's another little video another little taste until fallout 4 originally does come out and we cannot wait for it. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention, and it's actually pretty big news and I'm pretty glad about this one. Um, there was a recent tweet from uh, Hype Train Choo Choo. Uh, he, <laughs> he asked, uh, will DLC come to Xbox One first or will they release about the same time? And Pete Hines replied, we aren't doing a DLC exclusive with anyone. And that's really big because previously all the past fallouts um, I believe all the past fallouts, I'm not sure about the first couple ones, um, they actually had a timed exclusive, I believe, with Xbox, and, uh, it was kind of annoying, it, uh, it was pretty frustrating, but now that it's just kind of flat and everyone's getting it at the same time, you know, we all get that DLC, we don't have to wait until it comes out and everything, and I think this is really good, this Fallout, uh, that they are releasing Fallout 4, uh, I mean, this Fallout, like, as in general, you know, they seem to be really open. Not only is the consoles also getting the modding tools where, you know, when we make mods and all that kind of stuff, they can also get the mods and all this kind of crazy stuff, but it's pretty awesome that everything is coming pretty synergetic, I guess would be the right word for it, so it's pretty cool. I'm really excited to see this Fallout 4. It seems like it's probably going to be one of the most user-friendly, I guess is the right word, Fallout 4s, uh, not only for the reason being that they're pretty console-friendly, but just friendliness in general, the, the game that seems so open and massive and it's just awesome that there won't be that extra little thing of like, oh, we have to wait for the DLC because although for most games, I hate DLC and I think they're robbing you blind whenever they put DLC in, um, for the most part, Bethesda DLC, you know, such as the previous Fallouts and Skyrim's or Elder Scrolls, I always say Skyrim's now because instead of thinking of Elder Scroll, I just think of Skyrim. Um, but anyways, usually that DLC is usually well worth it. There's usually a lot to it. It's not like an extra map or something else like that, that when they do this DLC, they, it adds worlds to it. You know, not only do they add like more exclusive weapons, um, but they also add in, of course, new characters, new storylines, and they also make it mend well with the game. Um, they make it a reason to be there. They intertwine things and it usually flows pretty well. And I, and I like it. It's usually pretty freaking awesome. And, uh, I'm glad that I won't have to wait to play it because not only am I excited for the game, I'm excited to play the DLC because I'm excited to see how else they'll be able to expand the universe that they're already making appear so massive already. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's all the information that we really have right now. I guess something worth mentioning, um, there was two videos that were released, um, but it was about the E3 press conference and stuff. I'll link them down below. If you guys missed it, then I guess you guys can go and check it out. They just released it right now. I don't know why they're releasing E3 footage, like, late now. I don't know why they're doing that, but I'll link it anyways. It's nothing really major to talk about. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I'm Monkey Jenkins. That's all I really got. Peace.